Hello, this is Father Don Farnan, pastor of St. Charles Borromeo, coming to you a final time here in our fall retreats. Gosh, we began this back in August, and we did uh, five months, four weeks in each of those months to do a series on spirituality, and we're going to conclude it uh, today, uh, wishing you a very blessed holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a most prosperous New Year. When we started this back in, in August, beginning with the school year, we talked about unmasking ourselves. So taking off our masks physically uh, in this time that we are so masked up in our culture, in our society, so that we can appear face to face with God uh, to do a, a spiritual unmasking, though we have the physical masking going on. And then we moved into the Catholic social teachings. We looked at Christian marriage is defined by the Catholic Church. We looked at communications as a means of spirituality or spirituality of communications. And then here in December, we're looking at some of the great Advent saints. And I'm going to conclude with St. Joseph. And perhaps appropriately so, though I didn't know this until earlier this week, that Pope Francis has declared 2021 to be the year of Joseph. He has just uh, put forth an encyclical called Patris Corde, which means with a father's heart. In declaring this year to Joseph against the backdrop of this horrible coronavirus, this COVID-19 pandemic of the world, we look at how do we get through our troubles? Well, nobody knew better uh, than this guy about how to deal with troubles and to still remain uh, faithful and loyal, a loyal servant of God. The first thing we ever hear about St. Joseph in the Bible, in Matthew's Gospel, is that he finds out that his wife, now today we would call this a fiancé, but then they would have called it his wife, his wife is pregnant. And the only thing that he knows for sure is that he is not the father because they haven't even reached that stage of their marital union yet to live together or sleep together. And then he gets these horrible nocturnal locutions and uh, perhaps even some apparitions or hallucinations. In other words, he's hearing voices and they're telling him what to do, and he's seeing otherworldly creatures. Today, we would say he has a mental illness. So he's getting through some pretty difficult times. After he does take Mary as his wife and they have their baby, then they are condemned by the monarch, and they are chased by the military, and they are run out of the country, and he becomes an immigrant in a foreign land. And poor Joseph, you know, his whole story seems to be about narrow escapes, uh, movement in the darkness, following something that he knows is right, yet the rest of the world doesn't seem to know it. And that also says uh, a bit about our own spirituality, I think. We don't hear about Joseph again until one final time when his son is 12 years old and his teenage or pre-teenager is missing. He's gone missing for three days. And uh, in that time, we can look at how so many parents, uh, though hopefully we don't have children that have gone missing, and hopefully we're not chased out of our country and have to live as uh, migrants in another society that we don't know. Uh, but you have troubles. We have struggles. Joseph and Mary, the Holy Family, and the great feast of the Holy Family, which occurs just a day or two after Christmas this year is really a, a huge part of what the whole Christmas message is about, uh, that we live as a family of faith, irrespective of what we define family to be. So this will be the final message for this uh, autumn retreat and uh, perhaps uh, the final message for a while. Everybody's a little bit excited because uh, we're, we're getting the vaccine to be distributed. So maybe we'll return to some sort of normalcy in the months ahead, though I suspect that that'll be a half a year away. So we'll need to keep encouraging one another spiritually as we uh, move forward with great uh, caution. But my final message to you is to ask the intercession of good uh, St. Joseph Here's the statue that is in our sanctuary of our church. This one is in the St. Joseph uh, room down in Bormeo Hall below our church. It's actually called Destiny. You see the carpenter Joseph, Joseph the worker, here with his son Jesus. And uh, the destiny, of course, is that there are the three huge nails and the child is playing with them. If you look up close, uh, you, you'll see a little reflection of a, of a cross. 
and uh, that is indeed his destiny. In 2021, the year of Joseph, we're going to have one final addition to our church, and that is a beautiful stained glass window that has been uh, commissioned to honor Estelle Yonkos of our community. And we look forward to St. Joseph Day when we hope that we can dedicate that on March the 19th. Thank you for being a part of this uh, retreat series this fall. I hope that it has been helpful to you in some way. We're all sojourners in faith. Uh, let us continue the journey to Bethlehem. And as we enter into the journey of 2021, let us join with Pope Francis with such great hope because of this man of courage, of creativity, of great wisdom, incredible trust, the great obedience that he had uh, to the word of God. And let us pray that we will also share in that great sense of what it means to be on the journey to sainthood. Thank you. I wish you a happy holidays and hope to see you in the year ahead, the year of Joseph.